What's up everybody? Uh, today we're going to be doing an install of a ladder on the back of my boat. Uh, we got the Pro Team 190TX right here. That um, I bought this boat for fishing and everything and it's turned into a kind of a family fun boat now. We do a lot of uh, actually skiing behind it. We do some, uh, we pull some towables. Um, and we need uh, a ladder to get in this boat because I don't know if you've ever tried to get into a boat before uh, when it's on the water. It is extremely hard. The rails are really slippery. It sits high out of the water. It's really hard to lift yourself up in there. And it's really a good idea, no matter kind of what boat you have, to have some sort of ladder on the back of it, especially if you're by yourself and um you accidentally fall off the boat i know you know you're gonna say oh i'm not gonna fall off a boat this that and the other thing whatever um it can happen and if it does it's nice to have some sort of uh ladder for you to get back in the boat and be safe especially if it's a winter wind in winter time you have a lot of clothes on it's cold uh those those extra clothes in the winter time can make you 30 40 pounds heavier than you normally are when they're soaking wet and getting back in that boat pulling yourself up it's going to be difficult so like i say uh it's good to have one we use this a lot obviously i just said that we do a lot of uh skiing and pulling the towables behind and it's hard to get the kids back in the boat um my kids are younger and we have to lift them up in the back and i'm trying to avoid all that just make it easier uh so i purchased a ladder um one thing i want to touch on we got big mabel over there she's uh not blowing up right now but we pull her a lot so this is the the 190 tx it's got the 115 mercury four stroke on it and this thing with the four of us on the boat or pulling two kids my wife and i we fill up all the compartments with the coolers we fill them up on the boat ice them down uh all our gear everything uh this thing pulls a towable or a skier amazing this thing will do uh fully loaded down with all of us in it a gear everything this thing does 35 miles an hour and that's pulling a tube or a skier so i mean this boat has been fantastic it's worked great um uh, i am eventually going to get a ski boat uh or a wake boat but I'm going to keep this one as well because I absolutely love this boat. This, it's been fantastic. So let's open up the ladder. We'll get to it. And uh, I'll tell you a little uh, problem I have with mounting this thing uh, with this tracker boat. They changed the design on the transom a little bit. So we're going to see what we can do to fix that and get this ladder mounted on there. So let's, let's get into this ladder and see what this is all about. All right, so here's the ladder. All right, I got this on Amazon. If you go on Amazon, they're all pretty much the same. You get a three-step or four-step ladder. I bought the four-step ladder. It's 10 inches longer than the three-step. I figured the more ladder and the water you have, the better off you are. So, it's got a little cord on it. It stops you, it keeps it from going down. Just extend it. And there it is. It's got hinges right here. Those are the hinges. This ladder is going to go here. And I will measure this ladder for you. This ladder from the floor to here is 45 inches tall. Four step ladder. I think it's going to go really nice gonna go way down the water make it very easy to get into the boat to get into um, this ladder was $45 very cheap um, it says in the description it holds 900 pounds but I doubt that I'd say maybe 400 300 400 would be sufficient um, so yeah we're gonna get this mounted on here but I got one issue here and I'll show you what this is So, this transom right here, 
this transom right here is at an angle okay um the older tracker boats was flat so this right here that's going to be an issue i'm gonna to have to straighten that out so what i've decided to do without spending any money here really uh i have a six by six right here from an old project and i'm going to take that six by six and cut it down and then i'm going to bolt it to the back of this transom and then put the where it'll be flat this will raise up so from here to the back right there that's a three and three quarter difference it's three and three quarters right here and goes down to nothing here um so i probably will make this an inch on this side an inch on this side and then i'll add an inch to that side so that'll be four and three quarters and an inch on this side and i'm gonna make it the whole length from there over to here um so basically i'm gonna start get to cutting that piece of wood and get that all set up see what i can do with that all right so i just took my skill saw and i cut this piece down to 17 inches because this is what i want i want 17 inches that's how wide it is now my skill saw is not big enough to go through the whole thing so i had to make four cuts one two three four and you see it still left a little nub on the inside so we're just going to sand all that down after um that's the scrap piece this is the piece i want here it's going to be four and three quarters on this side and one inch on this side uh same thing with the skill saw uh, i'm gonna have to cut down here and then flip it over and then cut the other side and hopefully they line up pretty good i'll probably have to take my uh reciprocating saw and finish the center cut but let's see how clean we can make this so I just made two passes, one on this side and one on the other side. I'm trying to save you guys the uh, noise and the aggravation of the saw, so that's why I'm not showing that. So I'm going to take, it didn't go through obviously, because it's not wide enough. My, so I'm going to take my reciprocating saw, and I'm just going to finish it up real quick, and we'll see how clean this thing comes out. Alright, so I just ran down it with the sawzall. Here's what we got. Not too bad. I mean, it's going to take a little sand, I'll smooth that out. Uh, not bad at all. All right, let me do that real quick and on to the next step. All right, so just at the bottom, sanded for now. Sanded. That's the way it's going to go. It's going to go like this. Right like that. This is going to go here. And that's what it's going to look like. Now, there is a piece right here that hangs off because this is tapered. I'm going to chop this off really quick and I'm going to sand all this down. All right, so this is kind of a chunky piece we started with. And then after we cut this off, this is the other half of that one. So I took, this is our, going to be our somewhat finished piece. It's all sanded. I just took 80 grit, went over it with my palm sander. I got a palm sander right here. Just went over it with that, softened up all the edges. Normally, there's my 45 I cut out. All right, normally I would power wash this, let it sit and dry, and then paint it black and let it sit and dry, but I don't have a whole lot of time today. I wanna to get this done today because we're going out this weekend. So I think what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna blow this off, wipe it down, and I'm gonna throw some stain on it. I got some stain in my garage that i've had for a long time i'm just gonna wipe some stain over it really quick and i'll leave it at that all right so i'm just gonna slap a little stain on here paper towels rag whatever you got and i'm just gonna put it all over here just to give this a little extra protection Even though this is pressure treated, we still want to protect it. And 
kind of get the idea. After you got that all soaked up, we're gonna let that soak in for a minute and then I'm gonna dry off the excess. Looking good. Got some nice extra protection. Gonna give it a little wipe, just kind of dry it off. It's not too heavy. I'll set it out in the sun for a little while. And while this is drying, I am gonna go to Lowe's and get some long bolts to run through lengthwise to hold that ladder on because the screws that they give you, I would not use those. They're like sheet metal screws, and they I would not put those on anything because they're not gonna hold. You get a lot of weight. But those screws they give you, you put a lot of weight on this thing and whatever you mount it to, it's gonna rip it right out. So I'm gonna get carriage bolts or some kind of bolts I can bolt from, go straight through, put a nut on the bottom, crank it down tight. So I don't have to worry about that thing going anywhere. All right, so that's what we got. Looking good. I'm gonna set this out in the sun. I'm gonna go to Lowe's, get some bolts. I'll be back and hopefully that'll be dry. We can bolt that down and uh, get this thing finished today so I'll be ready for the weekend. All right, off to Lowe's. I even that truck's dirty today. All right, we'll be right back. Get this trip over with. See you later. Just going back from Lowe's. I got some uh, 5 16 carriage bolts because they're threaded all the way down. Uh, they're all six inches. Uh, it was easier to just get all six inch. I'm not going to use all these either, by the way. I'm only going to use four. I just got a couple extra. But it's easier to use all six inch. And then I'll use the long ones here and I'll just cut these uh, down a little bit on this side. So I got the carriage bolts. I got a couple different size washers I'll use on the bottom and the top, and then I got the nuts. And I did buy a longer 516 drill bit to get through that long part right there. Save me some hassle. So let me get to drilling and uh, see how this works okay. out. So I decided I was gonna mock this up on the ground a little bit. I've got the ladder on the ground. I've got the old piece that I cut and I have this piece laid on top and just to keep it flat so I can work and drill my holes. So what I wanna do, is these holes are very close together. I don't want these holes that close together. I want a wider footprint to hold this board down. So I don't want just the front of this board having flex. I want to put it back here. So I'm not going to use this hole or this hole. I am going to drill a hole further back here and then one further back here. So it makes it much wider and it holds this board in a wider spot. So I'm just going to drill those holes real quick. I won't bore you with that. Let me get them drilled and uh, we'll go from there. All right, so I have drilled new holes. I've drilled a hole there, 5 16 and that's 5 16 I had to wall them out a little bit because obviously it's a little bigger than that. Uh, so I've got this ready to go. I've done that on both sides. I've mocked up my piece. I did all my drilling on the floor. Uh, I've got my four holes. I have not drilled in the boat yet. Um, so all we have to do is drill through the metal in the boat rather than have this up here and all these shavings. I am going to take two of these carriage bolts and I'm going to cut them down first. I'm going to just take my sawzall and lop the end off of it right there. Uh, so it's going to be about right about the bottom of that nut. Uh, it's always a good idea to leave the nut on because when you cut it, you can uh, when you spin the nut off, it'll kind of re-thread the end a little bit. So you don't have to worry about that. So I'm just going to take these over, uh, take my sawzall and chop these two off real quick. All right, so I'm just gonna start on this back hole. 
take my drill. I'm going to drill one hole and I'm going to get it the ladder on here kind of snug and then I'll do the rest of them. I'm going to make sure this board stays in its spot. Make a little mark in there. Got a little mark there. Just very carefully. I should drill a pilot hole. vacuum and vacuum this stuff up real quick all right so i went ahead and drilled my four holes i took this off what i did was i just put one down in here like this drilled my first hole put it in here drilled my second one third one fourth one and i just picked it up so cleaned all the metal shavings off the bottom so it's nice and smooth and flat so now all i gotta do Put this ladder on here. Take it like this. We're gonna put two washers on this top side because of this carriage bolt. Unless yeah, I think I'm gonna use two washers. All right, so I'm gonna use two washers just to fill up this carriage bolt spot right here. Probably could get away with one, but I have a lot of them, so. So I'm gonna put those two there. These two here, get the ladder. So, this one in here. I'm just gonna get all these started in here, and then I'm gonna go underneath. I have to sneak my hand in here. It's gonna be very difficult, but I'll make it work. Take these longer ones. I might have to cut these down too. I don't know. I think I'll just leave these right here for now. Is that one? And just to hold it down. I'll put this one in here. All right, so that's there for now. This is all loose. Uh, I won't bore you with the next part, but I'm gonna go under here and try to get all these nuts on and get them all tightened down. All right, so this thing is on, mounted. Um, I did have a heck of a time. Uh, it goes just about always almost to the floor. It's only a couple inches off the floor right there. I did have a heck of a time with these. Um, the best bet I would say is to get a bolt that is exactly the right size you need and that's threaded um, because that way you can just put it through, hold it from the bottom, and then you can spin the top tight. I had to get a wrench under there, under this tight spot under here. And I'll tell you, getting getting under here, your hand under here, I could barely reach this last one over here and I don't I don't have it very tight. It's just kind of snug. These I was able this one, this one, and then this one I was able to get really, really tight. Um and this thing is solid. I mean this thing is not going anywhere. So uh that's it. Alright, so just a quick demonstration. Right, fold it up here. Take the band off. Get on. It's got some flex to it, but I mean, it's supposed to. It's solid. It's nice. This is definitely going to work. Definitely going to work. And I'll just fold it up. Right up top. And that is it. Fold it up like that. That's gonna sit up top just like that. And I'll get a little bungee or something to put around here just so it doesn't flop around. And uh, should be good to go. So that's it. Uh, if I missed something, any questions, comments, 
uh, whatever. Uh, unfortunately, this is what I had to do to make it work on this one. Uh, it's not really what I was looking for, but hey, it is what it is. All right, 